I bet I could shock you with how accurate this reading is going to be. So I'm going to be looking at you and your person and I'm going to show you what I see and also what I see coming through for both of you. So um, yes, I have loved doing these kinds of readings in the past. I know so many of you have found them accurate. And of course, if you find this one accurate as well, please do like the video so that you can, you know, show me that. But also do um, comment down below as well if that is the case as well um, or if it resonates. So before I start, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Also, this reading is for all star signs, so if you're here, it can be a sign in itself that there are some messages for you. Also on my website, which is shopmoonlightguidance.com, there are personal services which you can um, find on there, like private paid readings, there's healing work, there's black magic energy removal, and there's also rituals to manifest different areas of your life, including love. Um, and then also there is the intention items on my website for again, various aspects of your life. These items are handmade, meditated with and sage. There's thousands of five star reviews on those items at the bottom of my website, which is linked to my Etsy store because sell on both Etsy and of course my website. Um, so yes, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet or your purse. There's sage bundles and candles and teas and various items. Okay, so let's begin and have a look and see what is coming through for you and your person. Let's have a look and see, okay, like what is going on, what has been happening as well. Um, we shall take a look. Oh, <laughs> What, what a card to start with, the lovers. You really do love this person. You really care about them. You have feelings for them. You really do. There's, there's just no arguing that fact at all. The lovers is probably the card that really sums up this reading in the sense that you really feel very close to them, but you also feel like you're still so far so close yet still so far and that's that's what we see you know you're relying heavily on your intuition to figure out where this is going you're trusting your angels and your guides and your ancestors to guide you as to what is going to happen and whether it's worth you know continuing things or or just sort of seeing how things go. I think many of you here want to just see how things go and make your decisions based off of that. But there's a lot of deep love that you feel towards this person. You really feel very connected to them. And you also feel very, very heavily that they are a good person deep down. They just have some, you know, struggles which keeps the two of you a little bit further apart than you would like them to be. Should we take them? Let's take them. <laughs> okay. So we've got the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So this is what I mean. It's like you're so close, okay, for it to be the ten of pentacles, like literally the nine plus the one. But yet you still need that extra step being made from their side. And that's what I see here. So the nine of pentacles shows you know yourself. You know how good you are. You know that you're a good person. You're kind. You're caring. You're genuine. You're empathic. You're loving. You're appreciative. You're mature. Do you affirm everything I just said? You know who you are. And I think that the main thing here is that they also really do like who you are. They are just trying to also figure out their finances from what I'm seeing. And once they've made that step in their finances, they feel like, okay, then we can really be together. We can make things work. So it's like, you're almost there with this person, but you're not. And that's the main thing that I'm picking up on here in this particular reading is that you feel like you're so close to something, but still that that step needs to be made and until it's not made obviously not everything is perfectly together however what i will say in this reading is that i do feel like that step will be made towards commitment towards them getting that little extra piece of the puzzle to click with the rest of the puzzle so that the bigger picture is then set into place um what else do we have yeah i chat i think the challenge really here is that they feel like they still have to get one aspect of their overall journey together and part of that is their finances they really feel like they need to be a lot more stable and then they will be able to really progress towards you it's a part of their journey as I'm seeing here and even with the queen of wands they find you extremely attractive they just feel like you are so so physically attractive but also that you're smart and again we see here the sense of them feeling like you're so mature and empathic so all of those things that you feel that you know about yourself in terms of your aura and your being they also very much so validate those aspects as well Six of Swords. Emotionally, they're trying to also take themselves to a better place as well. They feel very stressed out right now with a lot of things going on. Okay. 
I saw it. <laughs> Three of Wands. Maybe you saw it as well. Okay. All right. Page of Wands. All right, got some strong fire here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is definitely coming through. Three of Wands shows that they do need some time. So I think that that's another thing to keep in mind. They need some time, something to keep in mind. <laughs> I don't know, poetic, I guess. Um, Eight of Swords, yeah, they feel a little bit stuck from what I'm seeing here financially. All right, so that's just their main focus. Um, that's where their focus is really going at this time. Do they want to progress things with you? Yes, but they really want to get this aspect as balanced as possible in their life at this time. Uh, also, they know that in time, they would naturally come towards you. They would naturally progress towards you. They do feel in many ways that they are less mature than you. Um, and that is something we see because you've got a page and then you've got the queen. The queen energy resonates to you. And I think that the main thing that I also want to say as well is that when I say that, I know a lot of people are like, but I'm not a queen. I'm a man or you know things like that I read energies and tarot not specifically genders so always you know just know that even though I see a queen of wands you know whether you're male or female like that's that's okay it's the energy of the queen which is attractive you know regardless of your gender or however you identify the energy of is is very much so there that you know they feel more like a page like they're not at the sort of level of a queen or a king as of right now um so we've got there also the queen of cups as well um, so yeah, they, they do get emotionally quite easily overwhelmed and they know that you don't because you're so much more, you're able to handle difficulties at a much higher level. They're still trying to obviously like figure a lot of things out and I'm interested to see what's going to happen, but also I'm really interested to see, okay. <laughs> there you go okay we see progress we see progress i do see the two of you being together in the long term i do i just see that they're obviously trying to figure out their entire situation right now we've got jupiter which is very auspicious and prosperous it's also very lucky um it's about expansion and growth so we do have a lot of growth here look at that we've got the ten of cups as well i see the two of you being together if you need a sign that the two of you are going to be together look no further okay you've literally got two tens here and what did i say we're so close to getting to that ten especially with the nine and the one right there. So close to getting to the 10. Look at that. The 10 here is the completion. It is the pinnacle and this is so positive. So they just need some time to figure out their emotions, to not be as stressed because you know of their finances and naturally they will come towards you. Yes, I know it can feel like you're so close, but so far away. It will, you'll get there. You'll get to the summit of the mountain. nice counterpart energy king and queen okay so emotionally they'll get to your your level especially if you're thinking this person's not emotionally you know in a good place or they're not emotionally as mature i mean like are they really going to get that yes 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 um because we mentioned that with the six of swords right emotionally them taking themselves to a better place and then you're feeling much better um right now i do think that they sort of have a habit of self-sabotaging things and sort of running away honestly the reason for that is because you know six of swords they're trying to figure themselves out and when someone's trying to figure themselves out it is, it is not a perfect situation that's just completely made up you know it's a process and so six to seven to the eight and then they will break free out of this cycle um but yeah they can say certain things and do another as of right now but i think that things will be ironed out and the creases will be ironed out things will get better they do feel very lonely right now, even without you. So that's another thing to keep in mind. They feel like your qualities are irreplaceable, that you're not, they're not going to find qualities that exist in you just anywhere else. Especially in this day and age, it's very hard to find those kinds of qualities that I described. And that's a huge trigger for them to really come towards you and progress things further with you. You know, seven of wands, against all odds, they will come to you no matter how things are, like, difficult for them. They will absolutely find a way to try and progress towards you, to make those moves towards you. I don't think that they want to hold back. I don't think that they want to... <laughs> there you go. Do you know what? The sun card um, in certain tarot books, like, if you open the... Um, I don't know which book it was. It was a learned tarot book. Um, the description for one of them is in the... For the sun card is not holding back. <laughs> so when I just said that and the sun card came out, it just took me back to when I had read a book about the meaning of the sun card. 
there you go. Look at that. You know, you've got this middle child on the horse there, like moving forward and, you know, the brick wall behind it is just like moving forward, not holding back. This is about against all odds. They will make things work with you, progress things with you, want to, again, really move things with you, which I think is so, so powerful and so significant and strong. And that's what I see here. So of course, you know, if this resonates with your situation or if you claim it, don't forget to, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so as I post short readings on there every single day. And I will see you all very, very soon. But what a reading, let me just say. All right, so take care everyone and I'll see you all very soon and this is this is it. Wow. What what a reading, honestly. <laughs> Bye everyone.